great day to be outside today. February 20 something. Just got back from the NWTF convention last weekend. Kind of feeling crummy. I think I might have COVID. But um, out here helping my brother today burn some stuff finally. It's a good day for it. Humidity's uh, a little lower than we would like. Just a little bit breezy, but it's okay. We're making it work. He pushed some fire lanes yesterday around a bunch of stuff. We got some random grass patches, old logging decks, that sort of thing that we've been meaning to burn for a while. We got some thin pines and we got some clear cuts. So we're trying to burn off the edges and then uh, light it and let it go. Trying to get you some good footage. I meant to tell you, uh, it's 24. I've been putting episodes out from 2021. We're obviously way behind on turkey hunting episodes. I've got plenty of footage. Once I started with Panola brand, that kept me really busy. So editing has fallen by the wayside, but uh, I knocked out, I don't know, five or so here in the past month. I was doing well, then my hard drive crashed. So we may or may not have lost the rest of 21 and 22 seasons. Um, I, I'm fully intent on getting caught up with those if I can get my hard drive recovered. So unfortunately that's the situation we're in. And then the convention came and we got super busy. So uh, we're thankful for it. Panola brand has grown a good bit in three years. So I appreciate all of your support. It means the world to me. Uh, the Lord has definitely blessed me. And um, I want to continue to do some good things with, with the brand. So. Uh, anyways, this is part of me trying to be more proactive with, uh, with content. So showing you some fire today. I was going to update you on the hard drive situation with the hunts and the episodes. Uh, more will be coming. I may just have to start back with the 23 stuff. I don't know. We'll get to it at some point. In the meantime, we're trying to burn off this. This is, uh, this is an old clear cut and these pines were bedded out here. So it's probably not gonna burn the best. I think Jared's ran a dozer through it some and uh, kind of knocked it down. So we're gonna continue on to some, some more pines here in a second. We're trying to burn off around this shooting house though. So it don't catch the shooting house on fire. Looks like it's just about away from it at this point. Looks like my drone's coming back down. I guess my battery was getting low. Drone starts returning to home once the battery gets low. I just happened to be standing here where I took off from. Um, pro tip, if you can reach up and grab your drone from underneath without the sensors hitting you, you can grab it and flip it over and as soon as you flip it over, it cuts itself off uh, for some kind of anti-rollover deal. So that's how I choose to grab my drone and cut it off.
whatever this COVID is. I guess it's COVID. I haven't been tested. I got the signs and symptoms of it. I've been getting real short, short winded. Shallow breathing. This probably ain't good for me. It's fun though. dripping right here. I didn't get the memo. Alright. We got a dozer. That's what Jared's been pushing these fire lanes out with. So we burned all this and we don't want to burn this yet. Got a fire lane right here. This dead pine caught on fire, as you can see, about 10 or 12 feet up. I've got a, a water tank on the back of the Kubota. Pretty much got the fire stopped. It's still smoldering under there, but probably what would happen if we didn't do this is this sucker would burn. Even if we left it, it would fall across the fire lane, get into this, start all this burning when we didn't want to burn it. And then that could create a whole pile of problems. See, 
I just hosed that thing for five or ten minutes and it started back burning already again. So he's gonna bring the dozer over here. I think he's gonna try to bump it and uh, get it to fall. Hopefully it doesn't fall on him. And then once we get it on the ground, he can push it back into the burn section. Keep it from crossing over. They call these widow makers for a reason, so you gotta be real careful when you're dealing with these. it's leaning that way here it comes just like that That was a perfect push. I think what you don't want to do is run up there and bump the thing real hard and then it starts shaking at the top and then the top breaks off and hits you in the head. Um, he just kind of eased up there, got his blade as high as he could, eased into it and then just kept putting steady pressure on it so the top wouldn't bounce him. And luckily it was brittle enough it just fell over. So I'm gonna push that sucker out of the way and should be good right here. I think the fire's pretty much done off this edge. Crisis averted. Give you a quick little recap. This is that one of the first spots we lit, at least when I got here. You can see it pretty much torched everything. This was a uh, kind of an old grassy spot we let grow up a few years ago. Loggers loaded here and stuff, and it just kind of stayed junky. And uh, <clears throat> it's got some volunteer pines in it. Like we didn't plant these, so we really don't care. Um, you know, if we killed them, which we probably did, but this burned so so fast and so hot it pretty much torched everything in here <laughs> some of these logs and stumps are going to keep smoking but uh yeah i'm not going to get all biological but uh out with the old in with the new you know um it's going to promote some good growth for all the wildlife i guess there's probably some dead bugs and such you know turkeys come out here and scratch in it and, and find stuff it's one good way to just you know get rid of some of this junk that you know tops that the loggers leave and that sort of stuff i mean it just kind of cleans it up for you but uh we're trying to create a little bit of a patchwork here with the burn we're not just burning everything so you know like that we burned last year those those pines are thinned pretty good right now uh probably gonna leave that this year um these are our young pines we didn't want the fire to get in there so we spent a lot of time trying to keep it out of those and those and uh just a couple examples, you know, uh, certain spots we're burning this year, certain spots we're leaving uh, strategically because, you know, whenever hens go to nesting, uh, they may prefer one type over the other. So things are going well today so far. Fires are burning hot, getting some stuff done. So this should help out a lot, all the wildlife that live here. too much smoke today i had to come check this spot we've been kind of uh 
checking here in the last 30 minutes, making sure nothing's jumping. We're, we're getting ready to leave it. So we lit it way down yonder and there's a ditch with water running down through here. Everything on that side is okay to burn. We're trying to leave everything on this side. So it burned up to the ditch all the way down there. And I was worried about this spot. It's almost like we planned it this way, but it's burned. You can see all the way up to the water line. Just came in there to check it and she's just scooting on. So this one's, uh, I think this one's good because every time it hits the water, it stops obviously. So there's a ditch that runs all the way up through there. And I think we'll be good. We did have one, uh, one fire jumped the road. We, we weren't trying to, uh, to jump and that was my fault. He hadn't put a lane in yet and uh, I underestimated how dry it was. So the fire got across the road quickly. He went around and, and looped it off on the other side. Not that big of a deal, mental error on my part. So could have been worse. All in all, a good day. Got a lot burned. This should definitely help. Uh, I've, I've had my drone going up. Seen a lot of other fires in the distance. So a lot of other people got on it today too. A good thing so turkey season's uh right around the corner i should be going to florida here soon we'll see how that goes I'm gonna try to do my best to have some good hunts this year and get some good videos as well so thank you all for following along i'm gonna try to always strive to do better at this thing it's just uh it's just time consuming if y'all like this stuff let me know we can do more of this it doesn't always have to be burning could be uh other things by the way i forgot to mention it's almost turkey season hopefully uh we're restocking these shirts soon we had them at the convention it's pretty simple and to the point but uh also lit a couple more spots to hurry this thing along about to get a little bit of almost nighttime footage which is always cooler mm -hmm.